push on the hip. Roll over over into my bottom. Stay on the Really physical. I mean, you got to push your body to the limit every single day. It's PT all day long, and you got to really push your body to the limit uh, while at the same time operating, being exhausted, uh, meaning like you're sparring when you're already tired. So you got to train your brain to work past the point of exhaustion. Side side. and roll, I'm using this hand to help push on his hip. So when I arch, I'm using my hand to help push him over. Once again, send up in my good guard pocket. <laughs>
Concentrate on boxing. Second week is kickboxing. Third week wrestling, and fourth week is a tactical week. Um, what it does is it allows all these students we have out here to be able to certify basic combative students. It, it applies tactically as well. Um, most soldiers are being deployed now, um, and it's not just infantry soldiers being having to do hand to hand. It, it applies to anybody, any MOS, uh, male or female. Just needs to have a good understanding of the combative side and how it applies tactically. Um, we've implemented a, not, a lot more tactical stuff into our criteria and our curriculum and stuff like that. Sometimes there are challenges as far as equipment. Um, luckily we got here, we got, we got a good size equipment. But the majority of the difficulties are just uh, logistics. They have a good a good knowledge. They've got, uh, as far as the other instructors you got here on post, teaching the level ones and twos, preparing them for this course, they're good. They're a lot of them are having good techniques. Um, Good positive attitude towards the program. Um, all of them are volunteers. They all they, they want to they volunteered to be here. They want to be here. Um, a lot of them have fought through some bumps and bruises, some injuries, but they want to be here. And so the core attitude, I guess you could say, for Fort Gamble is. is good.